Jazz and welcome back to Life by Jazz TV. In today's episode, I wanted to share with you guys five ways to create new space and productive energy. And this video was really inspired by my poop this morning. The creative process is a lot like pooping. I know that when I sit down to create something, anything, and nothing's coming out, it's because there's something cluttered in my life that I just need to let go. I like to call it creation constipation. Today's video is all about how to get rid of that and just declutter your life so that you can continue the creative process of living. And in this case, also continuing the creative process of building your brand and blogging or creating a YouTube channel. First of all, why can't we create when there's something in our life that is cluttered? Well, clutter is another word for distraction. So the first one is very obvious. Declutter your house, whatever it takes. I know that it might be really, really overwhelming. In fact, I did this. It took me three weekends to really dig deep and cleanse my house. And organizing and minimalizing your life can be so overwhelming, which is why I wanted to share with you one of my favorite YouTube channels called Lavender. So go ahead and check out her channel. She has a ton of great information. The second tip I have is to get rid of any social media accounts or any accounts online that you don't use. It's so important to get rid of these social media accounts that you don't use because you get notifications in your emails, maybe you get them on your phone. This is all unwanted space that's happening in our lives. The next one is to delete unwanted files on your computer, and I'd even go as far as to say in your email inbox. Everyone knows that the less space you have on your computer, the slower it runs. So you really wanna get rid of that storage so that your computer can run faster and it's good to build this habit of getting rid of unwanted files. Even though digital files don't take up as much space as paper files, they do accumulate to something tangible, which is a hard drive. The more content you create online, the more hard drives it's gonna require. On the other side of that, it's also super important to back up the files that you want. The next one is to create a database for your passwords. How often do you forget your passwords and you just keep resetting and resetting? This is a huge distraction in the creative process online. I know it's something that I've struggled with myself. So what I did was I created a database on Google Docs of all of the passwords that I have online. So I'm not constantly resetting them in the middle of uploading a blog. The last one is to develop a system for saving content files. This is really important important because the more you create on your computer, the more of a system you're going to need to have in order to not get confused, especially when you're creating project files, whether it's on Photoshop or Final Cut or iMovie, project files and final files, there's just, it becomes a mess. So I'll also include some links below to give you guys some guidance and some inspiration for how to organize and develop a system for saving files on your computer. So your bonus tip is to go and take a good poop. Let me know if you try these at home. If you have a friend who might also be suffering from creative constipation, help them out and share this video with them. If you really like this video, make sure to head on over to lifebyjazz.com where there's a whole blog post about this and all the best convos happen. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel so I know to make more videos. Thank you again for watching and until next time, remember that life is an art, so stay creating.